So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be making a chatbot so like you can engage a conversation with it, I guess. Well, not really because I didn't put too much work in it. You guys can add some more if you guys want to. Um, I It can also tell you the day of the week, the current date, and the time. You can also chat with it, I guess. And we'll be learning these following concepts in Scratch. List, the type text thing. We learned that in the IndieCat game, so if you don't know how to do this, you should check out our IndieCat game. I'll also show you how to do it in this video. And we'll be also learning custom blocks, loops, sensing blocks related to data and time. And I got this idea from my friend, and um, his name is, uh, his username in Scratch is called Rayleigh1123. You can check out his Scratch account right here. There's a link to him and follow him. He can also, he also made the chain reaction game tutorial on our channel. So if you haven't checked that out, be sure to check it out. Okay, so now let's continue onto the game. So let's go here. I'll show you how it works. So let me, I just got some chatbot PNG from online. You can just search it up and get anything you want. In the beginning, I'll say, hello there, your username. How are you? And you can respond with, I'm doing fine. And it will reply, I'm glad to hear that. Um, I know the popping sounds a bit annoying. I just added that because why not? And you can ask it to play music. It'll play a random... I originally had a different music. Wait, let me turn on the volume a bit more so you guys can hear it. So, music play music i originally had other songs but um i took it out because it was copyrighted so if i uh, used it in the youtube video it would be considered copyrighted so i didn't use it i just used some from the scratch library so i'll play a random song i have three songs i'll play a random song um and you can ask it what's the date what The current date is 7 slash 22 slash 2020. What is the day of the week? It is Wednesday. Yeah, today is Wednesday, so that's right. And we also have, what is the time? The current time is 2-21-25. That's basically 9-25 in our time. So without further ado, let's make a new project. File new. I'm gonna rename this to chatbot. Uh, delete this sprite. The sprite one. Backpack, I already have the chatbot. As you can see, the um, background's a little off. I'll make the background a different color. So in one of our videos, we taught you guys how to remove the background. So you can also watch that, but for now, I'm just going to change the background color. So, I'm just convert to vector. It's already vector. Just select this color. Go to backdrop and just draw square. Take out this. Just draw square. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's all white. Okay, there you go. So, now the backdrop is completely blended in with the chatbot background. So next, let's make some variables of lists. Only two, only one variable. We, we don't need this actually. So we need one variable, two lists. So our one variable we will need is letter, which is for the type text. We'll also need two lists. One is called days of the week. Days of the week. And make another list called words. Okay, so we have two lists and one variable, letter, days of the weeks, and words. So for the bot, we're going to start out by making a block called type say. Type say, and then we can add an input, call it text. So that's it for the block. So let me zoom in. Let's code. Let's we'll start with the type text. So in the beginning, we want to set the letter to one because there's one letter in the beginning. Set the letter to one. Delete all of the words in the word list. And then repeat. 
repeat the length of text. So it will repeat how, however long the text you write is. Length of text. And it'll change the letter by one, so it'll keep on going by one letter. So change the letter by one. It'll say the words, say the list words, the words in the word list. And I'm just going to get the pop sound, because why not? It's a bit annoying. You can take it out if you want to. I'm just going to add it. And wait, wait 0 0.15, 0 0.15 seconds. This is just to make it type out slower a bit. Wait one second, and then say blank, so we can set it back to blank. So that's all we have for now. That's the type text. And one more part, forgot about this part. We have to add the letter, letter, add the letter, 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 of text so we'll add the letter the text so to to the word list so this is what we have for now remember to add this so next we're gonna have to um set the days of the week so get a one flag clicked hide the word list days of the week i know it's already hidden but i'm just gonna put this if it's not if yours is not hidden then put this in the beginning we want to delete all of the days of the week in the beginning, clear it all. We're going to add all the days of the week, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I'm just going to duplicate a couple of these until I get seven. So I get seven. So add Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So all the days of the week are here. And next, we're going to get a one flag clicked. This is for the chatting, the actual chatting for the bot. So. Get a one flag clicked. I think I should zoom in a bit more. When flag clicked, we want to go to zero zero. Set the X and Y position to the origin. Um, and then we can type say. Type say, join. We'll need a couple joins. Join, join. So we can type say hello there. hello there, and then we do the username. So it'll say, hello there, username, how are you? So that's what I'm gonna do. Hello there, username. How, how, sorry, accidentally I dragged a, oh, pick random. You're supposed to drag a join. So it should say, hello there, username, how are you? How, how are you? And before, before, uh, after here, you should always add a space, so have, it'll be spaced out. And you should add a space before here, so it'll also be spaced out. So when you play it, it'll say, hello there, my username, wrestling 12345 how are you? So that's just to greet the user. So get a forever loop. Let's get a forever loop. Um, this will only say a couple things, so we will not be using a list. So if you want to do more, like to say answer many questions, then you'll have to do a list. That's a bit complicated. So we're just going to do it this way for now. So we're going to ask blank in the beginning. Just let them ask anything we want. Get an if-then statement. If the answer, answer contains a date. So if the answer that they answered contains date, which means the date of the week, the date, like the current date, then we can type say, 
type say join we'll need a lot of joins again join we'll need five joins okay so three four five five joins the current date is the current date is join the current month the current month join the current uh, you have to put a slash just to like separate it that's what they do the current the current uh, date and the current and then you put a slash right here and then the current year so when you play this and I put it together I'll show you what happens so this is what we have so when you play it will just say that I think I should uh, take this out for now because it's gonna waste a lot of time so I'll just show you uh, let's say what is the date the current date is 7 slash 22 slash 2020 so that's right right now it is July 22nd 2020 so that is correct so we can just duplicate this we'll need to do now we're gonna do the current um, time so if the answer contains time then we can do the current time the current time is we have to join the current hour current hour and get another join this time we'll put a colon to separate it so that's what they do and then we join the current minute so right now I'm just, for now I'm just gonna take this out because it's gonna waste too much time so when I play it, uh, what is the time? The current time is 21.35. So that's basically 9.35 in our Eastern time. So 21.35, that's the correct time. So now we have this. Let's work on the, um, the current day of the week. So duplicate this. We'll need an or get an or or statement so if the answer contains day or, or no actually no not or and sorry so this is to check double check if they actually meant the day of the week so if the answer contains day and week just put that in here then we can type say it is and then we get the item, the item days of the week, item the current day of the week, current day of the week, of days of the week. So as you can see at, up here, we set the days of the week. So I'll open it up. So this is the index one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the current day right now is four which is um, Wednesday, so if you were to take this out, click on it, it would say 4, which is Wednesday. So that means it'll select the fourth index of the uh, list. So right here, it'll say it is uh, Wednesday, which is today uh, of the week. So if you put this in, drag that in here, under here. So next, we're going to add the, um, this is like, a little conversation I guess so if let's get an or okay we'll need and two ors two ors so just duplicate this so if the answer contains doing great so in the beginning notice that how it says hello there username how are you so the user might reply with, I'm doing great, uh, doing good, or doing fine. There, are, Of course, there are many other ways to do this, like with lists, but right now we're doing it like this. Doing, oh, oops, weak. I was looking at something else. Fine. And then instead of this, we can just make it type say, I'm glad to hear that. 
I am glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. So you put that right there. I'm going to duplicate this. So this time we can check if they're doing bad. Let's say if they're doing a bad day, if they're having a bad day or something. If they're doing bad or something, doing bad or doing horrible. If the answer is doing hor horrible, I think that's how you spell it. Then we can say, I am, I am sorry to hear that. That in here so this is just for a little conversation and finally we can do something else so let's get some sounds so this is the music playing the music let me hide this list first sounds I'm just gonna take two like three random sounds put that up there um, go to loops I'm just gonna take the first three sounds whatever uh, loops Chill. Just take the first three sounds. So uh, for the code, we're gonna do if the answer contains the answer contains answer contains play music. So if they're asking us to play music, then we can uh, uh, start sound pick random one to three so it will pick random the first three uh sounds so the first three sounds right here are the bossa nova cave and chill the three sounds i have so now let's try it out the whole thing let me save it real quick so hello rosalind one two three four five how are you I would reply with doing great. Then it would say, I am glad to hear that. You can ask it, what's the date? The date. The current date is 7 slash 22 slash 2020. Yeah. And you can ask it time. What is the time? The current time is 2141 so it's now it's 941 in our time you can add and then you can say what is the day of the week and you can say it is wednesday so next you can say play music then i'll play a random sound And after it's done, you can play music again. It'll pick random one to three, so it can be any song, really. So yes, I'll scroll through it one last time. Let you look through it. So that's it for the chat bot. Don't forget to check out um ray lee one one two three who gave me the idea of this game uh his scratch account will be in the link in the description uh thank you guys for watching please like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video